Hello, everybody. It is I. Mattis! Back to you with another YouTube video. I honestly don't even know why I'm doing this today. Today, I'm just going to sh show you all how to win a game of checkers, wrecker style. What that means is, well, I've, I've developed my own style of fighting and doing things, and I call it wrecker style. <coughs> I'm sorry, but that, that intro really wore out my throat. <laughs> I think I was the loudest I've ever done that. And I, like I said, I don't know why I'm doing this. It's not like any of you are going to watch this or even learn from this or even try to learn from it anyway. So you're like, what am I, why am I even doing this? This whole thing. Who honestly knows? Well, my colors are black, blue, and a little bit of white spread through. So we're going all black. And the opponent... It's going to be red. Whoops. This one. There we go. Now. This game is a very delicate process. There's a certain way to do things and a certain way not to do things. So, I'm going to show you how my style works. My style is all about wearing down my opponent's moves and then striking them when they can't move anymore. And how to do that, it's quite simple, really. So, let's say... You're allowed to go first. The first thing you're going to want to have to do is that. Go for the corners. The natural response of a human when somebody is attacking them is to try to block them. So they'll try to do this. That or they'll just do this. Which you can easily retaliate by just doing this. It's, it's that simple. We wear them down. So now, now, now it's their turn again. So, hmm, what move would they do in this case? They do that, they're going to put themselves in jeopardy. They, they don't want to do that. If I was an opponent, I would do something like this. And that's when I, do, I make this move. You see, I'm going with this. I'm slowly drawing them out. Well, you see, they're not, they're not going to like that. No, no, no. They're not going to like this. No, no, no. So they're, they're going to do this. They're going to block that off. I can't believe we would do this. Why am I teaching people to play checkers? Everybody knows how to do this. Even the dumb people know how to do this. Does that make me dumb because I'm teaching all the people that are dumb and smart? I don't know. Why am I doing this? <laughs> so, my next move would be this. That right there. Well, you see, they're not going to like that. They could either put one here, draw it up from the rear,
Actually, yeah, that'd be their smartest choice in this case. Nobody wants to make the first move in checkers. You make the first move, you're risking it all. And that's where my strategy comes into play. That, that would literally be their best move here. So I do this, just to stall for time. They do that once again. Like, like I said, it's kind of a boring when it starts off. But things are about to kick up. Notice how there's only one move left on their side. And I have one, two, three, four more on my side. That's that's the art of this style. I wear down their moves. So, now I'm going to go. I'll be glad to go. Hmm. I pick you. And now they move their last piece. And now they're at, they're at a whole front. You see where I'm going with this? I just wore out all their moves. Now I double it up. Now they have to make the first attack. Which puts them at risk. So th that that would be literally their, the dude's safest move. Which I can just counter. Easy. Easy peasy. Now he has to move again. Well, he's going to want to try to block this. And look at this. I still have four more moves I can do. Plus one. They do that again. And so do I. And now we're at the exact same predicament. Wrecker style for you. I wear down my opponents. Slowly but surely. Well, it doesn't matter what he picks at this point. No matter what he picks, I'm going to get a king right off the bat. So... It's just kind of sad, really. Mm, regular person would try to do this move, which I could just counter with this. And then they would counter with that, not letting me go forward. Except in this case, they wouldn't actually do that. They'd actually do this. they try to block me off. Here's where the fun begins. Yes. There's nothing this person can do now. Oh, wait. Actually, there is. Crap, I didn't even see that. Oh, but no. If I, if I move that piece there, then I, I can jump here take out that piece and this person would, wouldn't want that to happen oh boy um predicament hmm I guess that would be their best move then I jump I take out now I've already taken out three pieces I haven't lost a single one yet that's how good I am at this what would be their next move? Well, obviously, the person can't move forward too much. So, literally, just this. That's really all, all they can do. That, that's, literally, that's literally it. Then, then I move one, and well, now the person's basically screwed.
Look at that. Wow. This is sad. I, I'm so good at checkers that I'm just creaming this. There's not much this person can do. <laughs> this is literally my style that I created. Full countering and blocking. And now that person's out of moves. So they, they try to do something else. But it doesn't even matter because look at this. Jump me. And now that, that person get, gets a king. By the time my opponent lost two, four, six. Seven, eight. By the time that person lost eight, I've, I've only lost two pieces. I'd say that's a pretty big improvement over strategy in, in a game like this. And I would try to limit their numbers a little bit more. So... Get rid of one more. Now they'll try to bring their king out. Try to counter me a bit more. But you know what? Doesn't matter. You know why? Because I got I got multiple kings. They would do this. I'd have to move in this case because I don't want to lose my king. And he'd take out two more of mine. It doesn't matter. It, it happens. Oh, but I, I just realized if, if he did that, he could be jumped and they're, they're not that stupid. Well, some people are, but not everyone. So how am I going to play against this? Well, obviously I need to limit his pieces. So I need to keep doing that. He can easily get between my two pieces right there. So that that's not a problem for him, I guess. Hmm. But what would happen next? Hard to say. I guess I'd do that move. Bam. 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 Well, in this case, I could easily lose a king, so we're not going to do that. Bam. Now, now what would they do? They, they'd obviously do this. They'd go for that move. Hands down. They want to get the most pieces possible. And now, he's down to just one piece. I have... One here, one there, one here, one there, one here, one here, and one there. I have two, four, six, seven. Seven to one. How do you think this is going to end? How do you think this is going to end? First, they try to chase me. It, it's the common goal of the game. But now he realizes if he goes there, he can keep a good jump no matter what he does. So he's going to try to back off a little bit. Where he can't be touched.
And he realizes if he jumps that, he'll get jumped by a king. So he tries to dodge evade. That's when I use my piece to get between them. And here we go. He'll probably go for those ones. But it's not going to matter. He's about to be chased. This is literally how it's done by a pro. Bam. Look at that. I've literally trapped the person in a hard spot. But it's not hard enough, apparently. And that's when we improvise. A little old 90 degree turn never hurt anybody. Now he is in a predicament. No matter where he moves. No matter where he moves. I win. I had seven pieces left when I won that match. Now, how about we do it opposite? And you know what? While I'm at it, put them like this now because those are kind of hard to see that time around. Do not ever challenge me at checkers. If I challenge you to checkers, you know I mean business. Because I'm one of the best checker players that there has ever been to checker a board of checkers on this great earth. So now the opponent's turn to go first. Well, most people are, are usually sloppy. They'll go for like a middle. Some go for the corners, but not all of them. They go for like this area a bit more. Which I can counter. Here we go. The great battle of wits. See, I'm, I'm enjoying myself. I'm, ha I'm having fun. I highly doubt any of you are even taking lessons in this. But if you watch these these two matches, you'll learn quite a bit of how my strategy works. This is record style for you. Wear down your opponent. person has a corner, so I'm going to do this. Ha. Mm, crap. Counter. Once again, I'm stuck between rock and hard place. Crap, this time might not actually work. Menace, you brilliant fool. I guess I'm making the first move. Crap. That is unfortunate. Oh. Oh. I, I, I see a, a worthy sacrifice. Hmm. 
worth it. Two for one. It was worth it. And now they only have a few moves they can do. Hmm. What can I do to torture these poor pieces? <sighs> well, there's a, there's a move they could do. And I just counter. I just counter. Just keep counting. So once again, I have to make the first move. Not much I can do in this instance. I am I am winning so far. It's three to two. I, I'm still winning. I've blocked off all access. Nothing can get in or out. Stalemate move. Unexpected. Oh no, what are we going to do? They'll have to make one move. You see? Bam. My strategy worked. You know what? No, I, I saw a better move. Watch this. Bam. I didn't even see that at first. That'd be the better move to make. Because then they have to move a piece forward. So they most likely move this piece or this piece, and then king me. That is a bit of a problem, though, because now they have a king. Well, it's not going to be a problem for me. Why? I'll tell you why. So I just took out the reinforcements. Goes that piece. It goes the king. Oh no! What are we gonna do? I tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna do what we do best. This is sad. I'm actually creaming these, the other team. I'm not even trying to. <laughs> Let 
Look at this. The dude is literally forced to make a move. If he moves one piece... The whole line goes... He's forced to use his king. This is how my plan works. No matter what they try, so long as you use your moves in a certain order of ways that you wear down your opponent's moves, the style works perfectly. However, I'm not going to chase that king because I need more pieces first. What will the king do? Hmm. Maybe they'll go out in the open. That seems like something they do. Well, they're going to try to get my pieces, but I'm not going to let it happen. And he's going to dance around here for a little while. There we go. Now the chase begins. This is how I do it. This is how I roll. Well, that's interesting enough. And there you have it. The king is now trapped. It doesn't matter which side he takes. Because either way, I end up right there. Now he's forced to move his other pieces. He has no other choice. Literally, if he, if he moves that one, I do that. If he moves this one, I do that. So let's just say they end up choosing this one. I do that. Those ones are gone. Then we got two pieces left. Forced to move again. Wipe out. And again. And that's game. That time I had eight pieces left on the board. I'm sorry, I had to stretch. I'm, I'm super tired today. Yeah. So in almost 30 minutes, you saw me beat two games with really good numbers left. One was seven. One with eight. If you can master this technique, the art of making your opponent waste their moves, 
You could be one of the best checker players in the world. Kind of like me. Who knows? Maybe you'll even be better than me one day. I'm going to leave that up to you all to decide. Again, I don't even know why I bothered doing a video like this. I highly doubt anybody's going to even watch it. And if people do, I'm going to be totally amazed. So if you thought that strategy was helpful, let me know. Let me know in the comments below. This is Menace Decker. Signing off. And I will see you. You. I will see you. Next time. Bye bye. Have a great day, everybody. Also, if you like the video, be sure to give it a like. If you want to see more Minecraft and or gaming content, please, by all means, subscribe to my channel. See you soon.